caramelize how to caramelize onions. So today what I did, decided to do for us was cut up onions in two different methods. Uh, we have long pieces that you would probably want for a curry. And then we also have a diced variety that we would want to have putting on bread. So we're going to be looking at the effects of the size and also the speed at which they caramelize. So the first thing we want to do after cutting them up is just add a nice amount of oil, not too much, so that we can help transfer our heat evenly and not burn anything. A pro tip would be to use something like canola oil rather than and olive oil as it has a higher smoke point so you won't be breathing nasty fumes while you're cooking. So before I put anything on the stove I like to mix it up so the oil is everywhere. And these are going to be simmering for about five minutes before we do anything with them. So I'm just going to put those on. So as you can see a low to medium heat would be nice for your onions and you'll see a nice or you'll hear a nice sizzling sound and as these go it's nice to always cook low and slow so you don't burn anything and in case you start messing up Okay. Uh, now that our onions have been on the stove for a little while, we're starting to see a little bit of translucent, which is nice if you want sautéed onions, but not what you want if you want caramelized onions. Uh, we want a nicer, browner color. There is a trick and a way to get around waiting for 25 minutes or so. And that's to add vinegar. So uh, caramelization of onions, like anyone learned in OCHEM, is catalytic and acid. So. Long nerdy story short, add vinegar and things taste better. So, I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar. Any vinegar will do. Lemon juice works too. To our first, our smaller set of onions here. It'll get a little vigorous here, so it's nice to turn down your heat so you don't get splattered in the face. But we'll see that we'll start to take on a nice browner color, and the caramelization process will start to go a lot faster. So I'm going to leave these on low and let those simmer. I'm going to prove it to you guys that you can use any acidic thing for this. I'm going to use lemon juice for my other set of onions that I have here in the back. Again, I'm going to want to leave this low and slow so the caramelization can occur. But because that's not good enough on its own. I have a little bit of black pepper and lemon to add on to add some flavor. So make it into a nice yummy snack. I don't want to say anything inappropriate, but when you come back from the frats, like, this is the best thing. Mix that on in. There, we can already see some caramelization occurring. You can see we've left these on for about five minutes and then progressing nicely. Being that beautiful color that we want so much. And the ones that we use lemon juice are working just as well. Getting a lovely color. And the great thing about caramelized onions is that they have a sweet taste to them that can accent dishes. I like to put mine on steak, but if you're vegetarian, they also go well on top of um, everything, but pesto sauces especially. Yeah, these are these are looking done and yummy. So I want to get a plate for us and stir these up in just a second. And here are our smaller sizes. As we can see, there's more browning per each one. Ourselves a nice little dish going here. Oops, it's also really hot. 